Anything that I'm receiving, you know, monetary wise, I'm putting that into myself. And I'm putting that into myself in order to help. Why you do me so bad? Why you do me this way? What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Chef Willie, and you are now home inside of Chef Central. And before we get started on today's video, man, could you please do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me? One, because it helps this video get spread to dozens amount of people. And two, you know, it eases the pain of me having to pay for you guys just to see my posts, right? But today's video, man, we're going to go over why you just can't save everybody, man. And it's just... It's really sad and it's, it's really a hard lesson that I'm still learning and still going through to this day. You know, I come from an environment where, you know, we really don't have anything. And I grew up really not having anything. So I kind of wanted to be that person that came back and just saved everybody. I don't know if it's because, you know, I read a lot of comic books growing up or just watching, you know, a lot of Marvel movies and stuff like that. But I just always wanted to just be this person that made the change in the situation that I came up from and just come back and save everybody, right? So while doing that, quick little story time. Um, I remember when I was in the military, man, um, this is when I was first getting, you know, real money and stuff like that. And you know, with all this money and stuff that I had, I wanted to give, you know, the kids under me growing up, like my cousins, you know, you know little cousins, uh, little sisters, stuff like that. I wanted to give them all the stuff that I didn't have when I was coming up as a kid, just because I thought that could, you know, make them change their mentality of, you know, I'm working so hard or I'm doing all this good stuff and I don't get rewarded. And that was the, like, the logic that I had, you know, when I was doing, you know, stuff like that. So I would just, you know, buy my little cousins, like Nintendo, uh, was it, was it DS? Yeah, I want to say it was like a Nintendo DS. I bought them Xboxes and stuff like that, you know, and I wasn't even really in a position to give, but I just did it, you know? I just, it just made me feel happy knowing that I can provide somebody with stuff that I've never had. Well, stuff I never had growing up and I was in that position to provide, right? But I didn't really realize the dangers of that. And when I say the dangers, it's because not everybody thinks the same, right? And I'm I'm just, just the way I think I'm a natural giver, but sometimes you gotta take a step outside of yourself and just kind of like start to see stuff for what it is, right? So um, I went in debt, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. I went in debt just trying to provide and just giving my family, you know, just the stuff that I didn't have. And just because like, I knew that they aren't, they're, aren't, they're not in this position to have as much, you know, money, you know, credit cards and stuff like that. They, they, they're not in a position to get, you know, all that stuff that I was getting at the time in the military. So me knowing that, like, when I went home, I was pretty much Santa Claus, you know? Um, and I just didn't see it at the time, but I don't want to say people were using me, but it's just like, you know, um, but I didn't really see it as that until I want to say a year later. So a year later, I'm, you know, giving my family money. They're asking me like, hey, can I have $200 for this concert? Da, da, da. And, you know, I'm just happy just being able to provide these people with stuff they never had before. Um, but it was a year later, you know, when it kind of like really set in, like, you know, my little cousins, you know, they're like five, six, seven, stuff like that. You know, a year later, I'm just, you know, routinely checking up on them and stuff like that. And I'm asking them, like, hey, uh, you guys um, still playing those games I got you? You guys still, you know, got the Xbox and stuff like that? And I, I, a year later, guys, a year later, none of these people that I gave stuff to them, none of that stuff lasted. It all, I don't know the stories behind all the stuff, but... And it, it kind of made me, it, it didn't it didn't irritate me, but it kind of made me feel a certain way. It's like, you know, I'm working, doing all this crazy stuff in the military. And like, with the money that I have, with the money that I have, I'm trying to give you guys stuff that you probably aren't gonna get. And you guys don't see it as, you know, I don't wanna say they're not grateful, they weren't grateful, but the way I seen it as, they didn't really appreciate it as much just because they didn't work for it. You see what I'm saying? 
And the reason I'm saying that is because like a year later, I'm getting messages from them, you know, just, hey, I need a new uh, game. Hey, I need a new Xbox. Hey, I need a new this. Hey, give me this, you know? Versus being appreciative of, you know, the stuff that I was given. And I can't even really just fault, you know, my younger um, cousins and stuff like that. But it was just because of the way we were raised growing up. You know, when I think about it in hindsight, um, you know, we were raised that when some good came around us, you know, whether it's a male provider, female provider, we take advantage of that. And, you know, it's kind of scary, you know, to say, but like during my upbringing, like anybody that does did something good for the family, we kind of seen them as a ticket. And, you know, so with the person being a ticket is like you try to get as much as you can from them, you know, and it's and it's scary to just, you know, really just realize that, you know, because I grew up thinking like that subconscious, like subconsciously, I thought like that, but I didn't just like just want to say, hey, I'm going to, this guy is giving me stuff. I'm just going to continue to get it from him. It was something that I was taught when I was younger in the back of my mind, but it like in the forefront, like of my mind, like I always just wanted to give. And I was just always appreciative of stuff, appreciative of stuff that I would get. But just moving further down like the road, like, you know, e like even to this day, like I try to tell people like, I'm in a position to give, but I can only give what I can. But once I get to the place that I need to be, then it's open arms. Like here, you can have this, you can ha have that. And to this day, I try to explain to people that, hey, I'm not in a position to, you know, just continue to give you the stuff that you've been, you know, receiving from me, you know, for all these years, because I'm not at the place that I want to be. When I'm at the place where I want to be, I'm going to take care of everybody, right? And I had these conversations with several different people, you know, just in my circle and stuff like that. And they understand it the day we talk about it, but it's like the next week, it's like, hey, you got this? Hey, you got that? Hey, can I have this? Hey, and I just, I keep having to remind people like, look, anything that I'm receiving, you know, monetary wise, I'm putting that into myself. And I'm putting that into myself in order to help everybody out and get to this place where I need to be to help everybody out. But if I'm continuing to, I don't wanna say like, I don't even, even say struggle because I'm not struggling or nothing like that. I'm actually doing well, but it's just like, I'm not at the place where I need to be to help everybody out. And it took me a while, like it took me a long time to realize that guys, like you can't save everybody, man. And you know, it just, it just really sad to say that because I'm a person that wants to help everybody just, you know, through the stories that I have and just the life experience that I've had. But I realized that you, you just can't sometimes, you know, and it, it hurts me to say that to this day, but it just is what it is. But let me know if you guys have ever been in a situation where you've always been just a giver and you always want to help people, but you realize people are taking advantage, even if they don't know that they're taking advantage. But just let me know if you guys ever been in like similar situation, all right? But other than that, that's a wrap for today's video. Just wanna thank you guys for continuing to watch me, whoever's watching this. And uh, let's go, let's keep pushing, let's keep moving forward, all right? It's me, your boy, Chef Willie. You and I exiting Chef Central. See you guys in the next video. No, you're down if you're